Mowgli, behave yourself while I'm gone. What do you mean? I mean that you and the other young wolves must obey the law, even though I may not be here to watch you. Let's go! Oh, Father, are you leaving me again? That's right, Lala. But, Father! Father, don't! Wolf we'll Pack, move out! Goodbye, then, Bagheera. Until we meet again. Let me get this straight, Bagheera. The pack wants a strong leader, right? Someone who is wise and honorable like Akela, but who also has enough youth and vigor to give the hunters confidence. Is that pretty well how things stand? Mm-hmm. You've hit it, Baloo. I could only think of one wolf. Vermilion would be perfect for the job. I agree with you. Trouble is, nobody knows when Vermilion will return if he ever does. And even if he did come back, there would still be a problem, because his best friend, Sanda, refuses to put up with Mowgli. Which is why the whole pack is already angry at Mowgli. They think he's the reason Vermilion went away. It's breaking Mowgli's huh? heart. What? Whoops, there he is now. Humans, they do not obey the law. They do not hunt for food. They hunt for fun. Humans have no place among the wolves. I'm a human. I think he should leave the pack. After all, he is a human. What? That's not true! I made a promise to Alexander. I never heard of this Alexander. All I know is humans are a threat to peace-loving wolves all over the jungle. Sanda, I haven't seen humans the way you have. But I know that Mowgli is a... Mowgli is a human, Kayla. If he stays here, then I'm leaving. Vermilion, you can stay with your old friend. But the rest of us will continue on our journey. 
Let's leave him be. What? We all knew that someday Mowgli would have to face the fact that he's a human. Well, that day has come, and it's time for him to make some decisions. Hmm. I guess you're right. This time Mowgli's on his own. Hey, wait for me. This is an important meeting. Now that Vermilion has left, I am prepared once again to take command of the hunt. I think we should try the eastern part of the jungle. There's lots of fresh water there, so we'll have no trouble finding food. I'll be the leader on this expedition. We'll use the same strategy we've used in the past. Most of the wolves will form the chase group, and the rest will form the ambush group. I just can't believe all the Kayla thinks he can still lead a hunt. He's only going to get in everybody's way. Any questions? Good. Then we'll organize our teams and be ready to move out at sunup. We're going to run around in circles with a Kayla leading us. Mm -hmm. He's hopeless compared to Vermillion. Vermillion was a real leader. I sure miss him. If only he'd come back and lead us again. I'll bet he would come back if he only knew how much we all need him. What's the difference? We don't even know where he is. We could find him if we wanted. He's the kind of wolf everyone notices. That's right. Someone would have seen him for sure. I wish I were hunting with Vermilion right now. Yeah, like Sanda. She's the luckiest wolf in the whole world. She is side by side with a great leader. Oh, Vermilion, why did you leave her?
Oh, please. I should thank you. After all, you have to save my life. But it doesn't change what I think. A human doesn't belong with us. There isn't a single wolf in the pack who thinks you belong here. If you would only go away! I know my father would... Hmm? You should go back. Back to live with the humans where you belong. And leave us alone. Stay with the main herd. Don't lose sight of the lead deer. Ambush group, where are you? <laughs> With luck like mine, hunting is pretty easy. But I guess it takes more than luck to survive. That's for sure. How did the wolves do on their first hunt without vermilion? <laughs> I can only think of one word to describe it. Disaster. With Michaela as their leader, the wolves didn't stick to their hunting plan and came away empty-handed. Akela blames himself for the failure and says he's grown too old to be the wolf pack's leader. I see. I can sympathize with how he feels. But then, if he resigns, they're left with no leader. Precisely what I was thinking. After all, the pack had this problem before Vermilion arrived. During the time he was here, he took charge and whipped the pack into shape. Now they can't get along without him. That's right. When they hunted with Vermilion, their bellies were full, and so they want him back. Which brings us to Mowgli. They chase him out to get Vermilion back? Mm-hmm. Oh. 
I can't believe wolves would do that to one of their own. Well, not all. But some of them would, and they're the ones who have wounded Mowgli's heart. Wounded Mowgli's heart? <laughs> he thinks he's caused nothing but suffering to his friends and loved ones. He blames himself for all the misfortunes of the pack, and indeed for all the terrible things humans have done. But that's ridiculous. None of these things are his fault. If anything, Mowgli's too good for that wolf pack. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Then do something. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be Mowgli's teacher, Vagira. You're supposed to be on his side. Let's see you prove it. You should be offering help to Mowgli as he copes with his terrible problem. Well, so should you. All right, let's go. We've got to find Mowgli and ease the pain in his heart. Remind him that he's a noble citizen of the jungle, that he's as true a wolf as any in the pack. I've got to hand it to you, Baloo. You can be very convincing when you want to be. Let's go and find Mowgli. What's happening? It's a terrible fight. A fight? Some wolves made comments about Mowgli, then Apu and Sora got angry. Just as we feared. Those two are outnumbered. I have to find Akela to break it up. We'd better have a look. Mm. How on earth did the fight start? Those wolves were talking about Mowgli. They said he was a jinx on the back, and we'd be better off without him. They called him an outsider. An outsider? Aku and Sura got angry, and pretty soon a fight broke out. Mowgli certainly has loyal brothers. <laughs> You shouldn't be fighting just because of me. You have to stop. Stop fighting, all of you. Now, break it up, or answer to me. Oh, Sura. Oh, my poor dear. We better tend to Sura's injuries. Uh, 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 uh. Sura, are you all right? Sura? It's okay. You're going to be all right. Lie still. Sura... It's my fault. I'm sorry. Forgive me, Sarah. I should have known that something like this would happen. I should have been there to help you. No, I hate to say it, Mowgli, but it really was better that you weren't on the scene. Right, Sura? <laughs> it's true, Mowgli. If you'd been there, the fight would have been worse. <clears throat> Lie still, Sura. I think you've had enough exercise for one day. If that fight had gone on any longer, it might have been your last. Sura, this was all my fault. Forgive me. Don't say that. How many times do I have to tell you it wasn't your fault, Mowgli? It was theirs. Those wolves were itching for a fight. They called you terrible names. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Now, let's be quiet and give Sura a chance to rest. A good night's sleep is all he really needs. Then, in the morning, he'll be as fresh as a daisy. Going somewhere, Mowgli? Uh, no, just for water. Oh. So long. was on my account. It was all my fault. trouble I've caused, it's the only thing I can do. But where will I go? I don't know any place else. Maybe I'll have to live with... with humans. 